What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's up? And as you can see, we have a third person with us. It's none yes. other than Latoya Morgan, writer, co-executive producer for Into the Badlands, Latoya. Yes, yes. Hi. Hey. What's up? <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. <gasps> Latoya yeah. is going to um, be answering some of your community questions that yes. uh, fans of the uh, of the show and in the community. Very excited. Yep, it's going to be very excited. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I will say up at the top, if you haven't seen Latoya's uh, uh, run on Into the Badlands trivia. You don't want to miss that. Go and watch that. <laughs> Hell, you can pause this, go watch that, come back. It's fine. We'll be here waiting for yep. you. Don't worry about it. I'll wait. Yep. There you go. Welcome yep. back. All right. Uh, all right. So, Latoya, we have some questions uh, from the community. Uh, very passionate, very uh, yes, yes. sorrowful community at the moment. Um, uh, yeah. We are recording this at the point where Badlands has uh, been announced canceled on AMC. Um, so that does suck. But... We're not gonna. We're not gonna fret. Yes, we got. We got a bunch yeah. of good questions for you. We want to hear about your. You know your run on the Badlands. So, uh, Mikey, uh, right. you got the first question. Let's run it. Let's do it. Yes, I do. Um, our first question really is just to, to start this off uh, the right the right way. Um, how did you first get involved uh, on Into the Badlands? Well, how did that? Um, how did it all begin? Uh, well, I came on to Into the Balance in season two. So season one had already been done and put to bed. It had aired. Um, people were really excited about it. There were only six episodes the yeah. first season. So people were, you know, kind of not sure if it was going to get a second season or not. And uh, the executives at AMC put their heads together with Alan Miles, who are the creators and the showrunners of the show, right. and they put together a mini room for season two. And so oh, cool. me and a few other writers got together with them, and we really sort of built out the second season. And one of the things that I really loved in season one was, like, the fights. I mean, come on, epic. Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah. There is nothing better on television than the fights that we do. And I think, you know, it's a crime that we have not gotten an Emmy for the fight scenes on the show oh, or yeah. the cost no, or the right costumes now. or I could go yep. down that rabbit hole. Yep. Um, but the fights in season one were incredible. But one of the things that I felt that we needed to infuse in season two uh, was a sense of a goal for mm -hmm. Sonny. And so that was a lot of what we talked about was, you know, you end on this great cliffhanger in season one. How do we build on that? How and how how do we build out the world? And so uh, that was what we we did. We decided to throw Sonny outside of the Badlands and have his goal be to get back into the Badlands and, you know, find his wife. Well, not his wife yet, but his his uh, love and his baby. And uh, along the way, he meets uh, a rap scallion uh, named Baji. Um, <laughs> Chris. Watch, watch a trivia um, video and you'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, Nick was such a refreshing uh, addition to the cast. He is so brilliant and so funny. And so it was great to have these two polar opposites be paired together and <laughs> yeah. constantly have to do things together. And it just made for good comedy. Um, and so that's really how I got my start. We can talk a little bit more about, you know, his journey and all that stuff. But it was really... Um, the showrunner is coming to me saying, we would love for you to join the team. Um, I'm a person who does a lot of great character work and I like to write action. I'm a big, big genre person. Awesome. So these are all like assets that they wanted to bring to the room. So I was really honored that they asked me to be a part of it. That's, no, that's awesome. awesome. And, and, and perfect leads right into our next question regarding characters. Uh, so what, what the fans want to know, what we all want to know is what did you enjoy like the most writing the characters. So like, so uh, what did you enjoy writing about the characters? Was it the relationships? Uh, was it motivations in the conflicts or was it their backstories? Like where, mm -hmm. where do you, where do you land with all that stuff? Oh my God. Like all of the above. All the like above, I'm, yeah. I'm very much a like a uh, Reese's, you know, peanut butter cup kind of writer. I, I love the chocolate and I love the peanut butter. So yeah. the drama is like my favorite part, right? But yeah, I yeah. also love the action. Mm -hmm. um, I think there were so many really terrific scenes that I got to write. Um, you know, so like the scripts that I got to write were really fun. And um, they had, I think all the episodes really have a lot of action and character stuff. But uh, a lot of my stuff dealt with like loss or reconnection mm -hmm. so i'm thinking specifically about like in episode 205 i think um when Ryder 
after Ryder is killed in the aftermath, there's this great scene that I got to write for Orla Brady, who is an incredible actress. Well, and, yeah. you know, she's just with his body afterwards. And, you know, she just tells this backstory about how he was her only child. And just the weight of that, of having lost your only child and your husband having been the one to yeah. kill him. It, yeah. it was just, and then like she goes from that beautiful action, I mean, beautiful character moment. And then she completely pivots and says, I want to be the one to kill him. Right. Yeah. And yeah. so it was just like, so good to, you know, feed wonderful actors, things like that, which was great. You know, Quinn, uh, like as insane and crazy as he is, Oh, I fantastic. Loved, like, you just, you just yeah. could not take your eyes off of him. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's, a, a, in one of the episodes that I wrote, he, I think it's the same episode, actually. He is um, uh, with with uh, the baby, baby Henry. Yeah. And Vale is like, like, oh my God, this man is going insane. Yeah. And he's yeah. trying to kill the baby. And she's like trying to coax him out of it and yeah. like get the baby mm. living room and like riders behind him because he's going crazy and so it's just juicy drama like that that yeah. is very tense and suspenseful that i love and then on top of that i get to have you know someone like you know caster go and like destroy an entire refugee camp <laughs> you know as a as a dark-eyed you know dear yeah. one yeah. so it's, it's fun to do all those things that's yeah, it's gotta it's gotta be great to work with such talented actors mm-hmm. and yeah. then you know writing this 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 scene and then seeing it come come to life in front of your of, of your eyes it's got to be uh, oh very God. fulfilling you know yeah so gratifying i mean i yeah. think one of one of the greatest joys that i had was in season three we added um lorraine toussaint and yep. she say and i have always been such a big fan of lorraine's and you know one of uh, her first episodes was one that i'd written awesome. and so to see her like saying the words and really infusing them yeah. all this great stuff um yeah. it's just it's just wonderful you know that that that's a thing and again not to bring it down but one of the reasons why everyone's so upset is that not only was this show just landmark in in so many different things. One of them is just the, these specific characters, the, the people that you guys cast, and obviously the writing that you're, these words that you're giving these these terrific actors. It's yeah. like, it's just like, what the hell is everyone doing? Why is this show not, <laughs> what, what the hell? You know what I mean? And like, Every, just hearing I mean, you, yeah. you know, now I'm getting angry and upset again. Right. Because it's like, I'm, you know, I'm hearing you say this. Well, no one it, knows. Yeah, no one knows like, the, the answer so to that question. good. And like that's, you said, that's like, that's what when, it is. Lorraine and and you know every everybody it's just so good anyway okay so yeah. oh yeah no I get it I like I like the I understand uh the fury and I'll I'll try to answer questions without getting myself fired I know yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh I think I think part of the issue was always um it's a very expensive show to make yeah and that's yeah. just the truth in the bottom, bottom line, line of it yeah. we have mm-hmm. the greatest fight team. To me, in the history of cinema, oh, yeah. working every week to put out some of the best fights, yeah, and the best yeah, choreography yeah. in the business, yeah. hands down. And so we not only have that, that's an entire unit, an entire crew by itself yeah. that just does fights. And then we also have a separate unit that does drama. So that is two crews running at the same time mm-hmm. every episode. Yeah. So it's just, and then not to mention, we have you know hundreds of extras in these fights Um, that's hundreds of people who need to be dressed in the right costumes. Um, we, you know, they have to come and rehearse, you know, that it's just, it's a very expensive show. Um, I, the, the thing about it is you see it all on the screen. Mm -hmm. Um, you see it not only, um, in how gorgeous it looks, but in the wonderful performances that we get, you know, our, our casting director does a great job of getting really wonderful talent in there from all over so that we make sure that the Badlands looks like what I hope the future looks like, which is yeah. very inclusive and multicultural yep. and, and beautiful. And so um, that, I mean, that is a huge factor. And, yeah. you know, the ratings uh, were good, but, you know, they taper off, you know, and then because there's large gaps in between when we could do production. Yeah. So those are just a few of the factors that I think yeah. played into it. Um, yeah. unfortunately, um, but the one thing that I can say that is really, you know, giving me hope throughout this entire process is that we have the most amazing fans, the yeah, most right. dedicated 
phenomenal fans. Damn. I can't tell you how many times I've been on your YouTube channel, like kind of <laughs> lurking. Thank you. Thank I would you. like uh, listen to um, you guys do recaps of the episode, yeah. and then I would like secretly type like. Um, you got this part wrong. I know. Like, who are you? I'm like, <laughs> I know. I'm one of the writers. I'm yeah, yeah. Like, this is true. Yeah. So, yeah. um, we caught that. I'm always like, oh. <laughs> that was actually one of the first times I realized that anybody that watched the show was actually watching our stuff. You know. I, I know. Mean? See, because I am a super fan myself. So, yeah. like, I am the person who goes to Comic Con and enjoys it. You know. That's so, awesome. yeah. um, it's it's been a great joy to work on the yeah. show and stay engaged yeah. with the fans. So, you know, I'm disappointed for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Obviously, we're we're super glad that you're here with us now. And yes. after all of this and all that time, and you know, and you telling us what we did wrong, which is awesome, by the way, we definitely <laughs> appreciate that. But it's it's so great to have you here. So, um, uh, oh yeah. So yeah, let's uh, yeah, we could we could. I mean, we could talk about this. I know, so, I know. Let's let's I keep know. asking. Let's keep going. So all we right, can this get is more. more. This is more about the character and character development. Um, when you're writing for these characters, have there been instances where specific attributes of the character? Um, were changed to tailor to the actual person you were working with do, uh, because of their, you know, the something that they may bring that you didn't necessarily think for when you were originally writing for them? Ooh, the first thing that comes to mind, that's a really great question. Um, the first thing that comes to mind is um, Caster. We had Dean Charles, we knew, um, and he's a phenomenal actor, as we've mm -hmm. seen on, on Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. But we did not know is how good of a fighter he was. Uh -huh. So he has a dance background, so right. he would just take to the choreography really well. So we would just add more fights in for him because he was that that's freaking awesome. good. Yeah. Um, so that that's one thing that I know that we changed for sure. I think sometimes we're when we're breaking the story, we're up in the air about like whether someone will be a woman or a man. We'll we'll mm -hmm. we'll think of it one way, and then we'll see some uh, casting clips. We'll see people audition, and we'll, we'll be like, "Oh yeah, that's that's the person." So I think think about the that's character Ren, Ren, who was in our mm -hmm. my episode, a couple, a few episodes. I think originally that was gonna be a, a guy. Uh, like a bowler hat and then we saw okay. like this amazing performance from her and we were like okay she's the one that's awesome um, yeah and so things things like that we change and then we also change you know backstories and stuff i know some people have questions about characters like percival but we'll get to that later but um <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah so we'll we'll change i think specifically one thing that we did change that it's not that we changed it so much, but we added to it. I'll just put it that okay. way. Um, okay. and like take Baron Chow for mm -hmm. example. Yeah. Um, I love writing backstory, so we'll I can talk about um the episode where we, where we do the flashback later because I I just love that. Yeah. But um in the Conclave episode, she talks about she has sisters. Yeah. And um she never mentions a brother. Um so we were like, oh. We want to have Lewis Tan on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, she has a brother now. Like, she yeah. also has a brother that she just did not mention. So, like, that's another example. And that's easy. It's easy. She didn't mention it. <laughs> she didn't yeah. mention it. It yeah. makes sense why she wouldn't mention it. Right. Though, right? She was, exactly. Yeah. She was also he was on the house with him. Right. Exactly. She had exactly. his ass locked up. So, yeah. 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 But, like, part that's of our nice. lives as, as writers in the writer's room is constantly going back to like the canon and the mythology being like right. what did, what do we say yeah. and to like make sure that it matches you up you know? the dvd let's see what we yeah. said you know yeah awesome yeah. awesome yeah no, that's um, awesome um uh I'm, what, what was her what's what's uh what's uh baron chow's real real name well not that it matters yeah. well anyway Julia. The mother? Uh, Wait, the, uh, uh, oh the actress Julia child yeah. Oh, Eleanor. She, Eleanor yeah. yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. She's she on was actually Dead. on Walking Dead. So I was I was hoping because she was on Talking Dead last week. I was like, you know, say something about the Baileys. Or Chris Hardwick, say something where else we can see her or find her. Yeah. You know, just put put the Badlands name out there in right. any way possible. Yeah. Obviously that didn't happen, but it's kind of interesting now that she's with uh with Walking Dead too from from the Badlands. But we still get to see her for us. For us it's cool as fans yeah. because, you know. Yeah, she's she's dope. I mean, she's such a great actress and can wear an outfit. That woman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, can wear an outfit. She looks fantastic in costume. So, um and I actually wrote an episode of the upcoming, upcoming season of The Walking Dead. Oh. And um unfortunately, she was not in my episode, but oh. I 
I was like excited to see her. I was like, oh, that's oh, bad awesome. Badass, that's great, Badlands though. connection. That's yeah. great though. Yeah, she yeah she gets to play a badass in in both shows, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh. So we have a question. I I really like this question. Um. So with with more of these characters that are obtaining or regaining the gift. All right. So you got Pilgrim, Widow, possibly Sunny. We don't know yet. You probably know, but we don't know yet. Um, mm -hmm. Were there ever concerns with, the, you know, about the increasing gap of power level between these characters that have the gift and don't have the gift? So you're looking at, you know, Moon who doesn't have the gift, and then you're gonna have, you know, MK who does, or you know, Minerva, or so yeah. So were there any concerns about having to balance that out? I mean, you know, we we don't necessarily really know what's coming up yet. We've seen the trailers. You know, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. Daniel and yeah. Sherman have teased. Um, you know, a, a battle here or there. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah, what, what, is, what can you say about that stuff? Um, I can say that that's a great question and that it was a constant debate in the writer's room okay. because we were like, oh my God, if there's all these people with powers, like no one has any hope, you know, because right. they just are just so outmatched. Yeah, and yeah. so um, that's where uh, we started to dig into some of the backstory that we had already laid in. Mm -hmm. So if you think back to season two, there was um, in the monastery, there's the needle machine yep. um, that right. will like draw out your power. And right. so that's something that the monks have always, the abbots have always done. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of, uh, grafted that a little bit of that onto some of the backstory that I can't get into about Pilgrim, okay. Okay. and so why he has the, he has a specific power right. that subdues that. You know what I mean? And yeah. so, um, well, the, in three B, you'll get more into that, which yeah. is pretty pretty badass. Uh, the backstory yeah. for that, um, but uh, it's it was something that we always thought about because one of the things that makes the Badlands so interesting is that they're there are no big weapons, you know, you have yeah. to know how to fight with your fist, right. you have to fight with your hands and, right. you know, the sword. And so um, it was, it was tough. And so we, what we try to do is be judicious about it. So we were like very specific about who has it, like the master, Ankara, mm -hmm. um, I won't say anymore. So <laughs> other, <laughs> people. Right, yeah. other, other people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, because it's you know like we're we you know obviously you know you've seen this bunch of theories and stuff, everything going around. What's yeah. gonna happen? Yeah. You know, we know we we all think we know what's gonna happen, but yeah, you know, or what has to happen because this person here is this person here. But anyway, yeah. we'll we'll see. Well, uh, we'll, well, and also I will say there's also a, a consequence to the powers too, right? So you can't just oh, have yeah. it forever if you're using it. Right. So you it, it will kill you. So that's also a factor. That's great though. But see, that's I mean, that's like obviously you don't want a bunch of supermen yeah. running around. There has to be obvious yeah. consequences. But and that yeah. and to me, in you know storytelling wise, it's like, well, wh what's the bigger thing with that then? You know, like, well, how does yeah. that manage into that? So anyway, that's just that's just mm -hmm. really cool stuff. So yeah, awesome. it's just, okay. it's very mysterious still the power. You know, that we we always talked about this, Chris and I, and some of the other YouTube guys. Uh, we talk about there might be just different levels of the power. Right. You know, and there some are of these, because. Yeah, because yeah. Uh, that's why there's a master. Yeah. Because she can, like, we've not seen someone else, like, heal someone, right? So mm -hmm. that's why she is the master. Then, like, Ankara, and what the backstory they didn't make it into the show is that they were both, um, they were at the monastery at the same time. Mm -hmm. And she was obsessed, you know, with, you know, the signal and, like, all that stuff and yeah, yeah. bringing about, like, darkness into the Badlands. So the current master, the one, Chippo Chung, who we know as yeah. as the master, she, got, like, did a coup and got rid of Ankara. So that's why she's, like, in the abandoned plane and, you know, by herself yeah. and being crazy and, like, yeah. <laughs> and drinking. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but, yeah, but there's levels. Yeah, yeah. Latoya, can we commission you to write a, a, a like a graphic novel or a comic series about this? Because we <laughs> we only got those those few comics, and you know, I know. We oh need, my god, that was wrong. Come on, we need more. Like, damn it. <laughs> oh, I would love that because you know, I first of all, I write comic books and graphic novels, and um, I've done so for previous shows that I've worked on. Yeah. And I was always constantly asking uh, about more comic books because the first one was so cool. So yeah. I was like, we have to have more. Yeah. Ah, oh all right. Guys. All right. Hopefully, well, hopefully, I mean, maybe that'll be a way to continue it. Hopefully. That's true. See, yeah, that's yeah. a good idea. Absolutely, that's that's yeah. something that we haven't heard yet. 
Um, all right, let's get into a little bit about Vale because we have a lot of fans that are very angry about Vale's death. <clears throat> While it's heartbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I gotta get this one? Oh, man. Uh, okay. While it's while it's heartbreaking, uh, oh, it was the most fun. honorable. It was the most honorable end for her character. The fans, the fans believe. Uh, could you talk about Vale's death um, and just the overall fans' love for her character and just the uproar of of her death and the way it went down? Yeah. Um, how do I answer this without getting fired? Um, <laughs> I'll just say I. Well, the way that it ended was in, uh, in, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. <laughs> no, look, I like some there was a divide. I'll say this. There was a divide in the writers' room about the direction of that particular storyline. Yeah. I personally was advocating a different avenue uh for many, many reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh that I will just say, I just will come flat out and say that I think that after all that Vale endured um, in season two, which was quite harrowing, yeah. you have to admit, Absolutely. I mean, she's a station, that I just was like, just please, one moment of relief. And I, and I see the flip side as well. Like, it is this, you know, thing that's a catalyst for Sunny into, you know, the next season. However, I... I was not a fan of that uh, particular thing, mostly because um, it is so heartbreaking. And it is, if we think about like the cultural landscape of television, mm-hmm. um, I think that, you know, there had been a series of shows where you had a black woman character who sacrificed herself or died in some, you know, way that was, you know, very tragic and, and, you know, meaningful, but still very tragic. And I was just like, can we be creative and think of a different way to do it? Um, And I think, you know, you, you, as a writer, this is just some inside baseball. Um, You, you can, you just, you're there to help, you know, as much as you can. And, and, you know, they, the, there's a bigger picture that, you know, the my bosses were envisioning. And so um, I wish that there wasn't such an uproar. I remember the day that it aired and it was like yeah. when everyone on Twitter was losing their yeah. mind. And yeah. It was just in flames. And, and I, I felt the pain, you know. So, yeah. um, uh, but I loved the character of Elle. I think Madeline is a lovely, lovely person and a very gifted actress and, um, I would just say personally, and it'll, people can like it or not, I would have loved to see, you know, more of her characters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's not, very, that's not a very honest answer. No, well, no you know, we, yeah, we, we appreciate that. But, and, yeah. and you're right. I mean, you know, you know, uh, you know, Mike and I said, said it previously. It's like that she was, you know, especially season two, she was the heart of season two and just having her and that character in the midst in but the way you guys did it though like where you put her and having her be that beacon right. of light in that literal dungeon of darkness yeah. with all those maniacs down there you know what i mean like it was the dichotomy was fantastic and that's what makes season two freaking stand out you know sure. the direction it's just so yeah. great that that whole direction yeah. so anyway, i mean yeah and i think um you know hats off to um you know Paco, who directed that mm-hmm. episode, um, he did a really great job. Yeah, it looked right. yeah, absolutely very stunning. And then, you know, I think, you know, Lone Wolf and Cub was really one of the reference points that they wanted to get to for season three. Mm-hmm. And um, it it played out really well. So, yeah. I mean, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, out of, you know, great tragedy, tragedy. comes something good, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, um, we'll move forward. We have another. So we talked about Cressida a little bit earlier, um, and Lorraine's Gosh. fantastic performance. So yes. another another little bit of um, you know, uh, you know, fans fans <laughs> fans are all upset about something else that happened to um, another you know leading woman character, and it's that scene. It's the suspension scene with with mm-hmm. Cressida, right? Um, you know, so a lot of a lot of members of, of this Badlands community did research on the ritual finding, you know, links to spiritual practices and Native American and Indian and Eastern cultures and stuff. So, yeah. so obviously there's a precedent for it, you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, but uh, some, some of us, you know, looking at the comments on Twitter afterwards, you know, these fans were upset and angry by the scene. 
um, what? itself. Um, you know, but I, I, I don't know. You know, I just, they just, you know, but I feel, and a lot of us feel that it was important for her development. You know, can you shed mm -hmm. any, any light on, you know, possibly why people would be upset or do you have any ideas? On I, that? you know, I hadn't seen that and I live tweet every episode pretty much, um, unless I have like some other commitment. So I hadn't seen people get upset. I saw them yeah. being like, oh my God, that must hurt. Yeah. You know, yeah. Awful. But I never saw people were like, how dare they do that? Yeah. Um, so maybe I missed that. However, mm -hmm. um, I think that the suspension scene was incredible. It was amazing. Lorraine was beyond excited to do it. She loved every second of it. And I think if it had just been just, you know, for gratuitous sake, mm -hmm. um, it probably would not, I probably, I would not have wanted to put it in there. Um, right. um, just as a creative person, I think that it tied into her backstory as a seer. And it is grounded in rituals and practices from different cultures. And it's a way to open up the third eye. That's what mm -hmm. the ritual is supposed to be about. And so she is um, she's a high priestess. Mm -hmm. And that is how she taps into um, her pain center in order to see visions. Yeah, and yeah. so it is, that's why it's very love. It, it sounds weird and crazy, but it's like really loving the way he kisses her. He knows like, this is going to be like painful and yeah. awful. Mm -hmm. And like, she's willing to do that for him. Right. That is what it's meant to convey. And so, um, I'm sorry if people were upset about it, but I thought it was cool and badass, and I had not seen yeah, it. Um, like that on yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like, why would, you know, Obviously, if it was done, like you said, in a gratuitous way, then I can see why people yeah. would be upset. But even yeah. so, I, you know, talking about it with you is amazing because you're right. I, yeah. And again, hats off to you guys for making that feel as loving and as, you know, harrowing as it was, you know, because yeah. and again, I'm going to say it. I'm, we're going to miss this friggin show because it I was fit. You know, and we've talked about was with Daniel and Paco and Sherman. Yeah. It's like the how you guys were able to do the best fight scenes on television <laughs> mixed with fantastic yeah, heart wrenching drama. Like it's yeah. like it blows the mind that you were able to make yeah. this. You know, and yeah, thanks. Oh, man, I don't know. Yeah, I, <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah. with you. Because listen, <laughs> you know, we haven't seen the show in a while. Obviously, you've been on a very long break. You know, Mike and I are doing a rewatch. If we did rewatch yeah. season one, we're watching season two. But it's just like you get back into it, and you're like, man, this was just so good. You Look, know? I 100 percent um, of the credit goes to our creators, uh, Alan Miles, who um, created this brilliant, brilliant world. And all of our writers, um, so talented, so gifted, us working together every day in the writer's room, we just kept trying to top ourselves. Yeah. So we never wanted to get complacent and lazy in our fights because we knew we had the best fight team. How can we make it more emotional? How can we make it mean more? How can we take the story into places that we haven't seen? And all yeah. of us working together as a team, um, it was just really exciting. And we always came up with just cool outside of the box stuff that yeah. I was always excited to see. And I was always glad when I could see the fans response. And that's why half the time I was tweeting, uh, or, um, going lurking on your YouTube channel. <laughs> right. <laughs> because I wanted to be like, Oh my God, did they love that as much as we love yeah. writing it? Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. Great. Yeah. it's, it's, you know, yeah. and, and, you know, and we have to apologize, you know, my, we sound like a bunch of fanboys, but you know what? I don't care because <laughs> It's it's not very often that you find something like this, you know. And and we're just again two guys on on YouTube talking about our favorite show. Yeah. But it's like it's not it's not very often that you find a show that you're like this has everything that I want. Well, it's genuine, and you it's know. Genuine. Yeah. Right. So fanboy or not, I mean, watch our Walking right? Dead stuff. It's we're not, you know. Yeah. This is this no. is this is genuinely how Chris and I feel about this series. Yeah. Um. I I can feel it too. Thank you guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, no. And 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 the fans, and this brings me into this into this this next question. Obviously, fans are super upset about the show's cancellation. There's yeah. a big campaign going on. A hashtag Save the Badlands. Now, have you heard about this? Um, oh, I'm sure you've seen what, it. You've what are, you, what are your right? thoughts? Yeah. What are your thoughts about this? And how does it make you feel as a writer, you know, producer of the show, um, that that there's just such an outcry uh, from from the from the Facebook groups and the fans? Yeah, I am absolutely touched by just the outpouring of just love for the show, 
mm-hmm. sadness that it's not continuing, the creativity that everyone's bringing to the table. Mm-hmm. I, it's it's insane. It's stunning to see how committed people are. And so I'm so thankful for people for doing that. I have seen it on um, Facebook, and I saw that there was a petition, I think, as well. Yeah. Because um, I think I'm a part of one or, or maybe two um, Badlands groups, mm-hmm. um, or maybe three. I don't know. Like, I'm part of all the groups. Um, yeah. And I uh, I think that it's a worthwhile campaign. I mean, who knows? Like maybe some other place could pick it up. You never know what yeah, it's right. worth. A- it's worth asking the question, you know. Right. Exactly. Um, I think um, I think people are targeting um, places like Netflix or Amazon and stuff like that. So I think it's really cool. Hats off. Keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, Chris and I even started a, a petition last. Um, October, September, October, about getting the Badlands more exposure by going to the Comic Con, yeah. New York Comic Con, and all this kind of stuff. So, it's it's you know it's it's a huge community. People are just people just love this show. Um, what I wanted to ask you, this is going to be right, th- now. We're, yeah, we're going to get into a little a little bit of a tough question now. Let's see if you can answer. It's, it's, not, too, like it. it's not it's not too tough, but going yeah. into season three, um, was was did you guys know that this would be the final season? Was was it brought to you or? I mean, because we we heard from Daniel on some of the sites, and I know we wrote this a couple times. I don't know if it was on Facebook, on Instagram, but he he kind of said that there there will be closure, like the story won't just abruptly end in a way that we're not going to be um, like happy about or, or complete. Uh, you know, so it to me it kind of seems like maybe it was already sh- you know told to to you guys that the show was done after this season. No, no one told us that it was done after the season. So we were all like waiting, you know, to hear as we did every season. You know what I mean? So in the sense that there is closure at the end of every season, there is some closure to that particular storyline and arc. And so but we always leave like back doors and cliffhangers and things that we want to explore in the next season. So like at the end of. You know, season two, it was the Baji doing the homing beacon and going into the tower and the the lighthouse and, okay. and sending out the signal. And so we, so even if it had ended there, that season ended. You know what I mean? But yeah. there was a there was a jumping off point. And so we we never we knew we had sixteen episodes. We were like, oh my god, how are we gonna do the sixteen episodes <laughs> of season three? And they were like, yeah. woo, okay. And then so we were. We were building that, and then we were also building, you know, ideas and things that we wanted to explore in season four. And so that's what, the way we did it for every it season. And okay. um, so um, then we heard that it was going to be broken in half, um, which is the Walking Dead way. Mm-hmm. So that is the, you know, do season A and season B. And so that just timing wise, that just seemed like, okay, they want to be able to pair it with either Walking Dead or Fear the Walking Dead so that, you know, we could have the right, get, you know, the, the rating. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, and so um, that, that seemed, you know, regular and, you know, fine. And, and then um, the gap, you know, came and we were like, oh, well, it's more time, more time, more time, mm-hmm. um, which is also not unusual. <laughs> right. just yeah. really and so, um, so yeah, it wasn't until, you know, very, very late. Like I didn't, I personally learned, uh, on Twitter. So, oh, wow. <laughs> so, like, so, I saw some fans being like, what, what happened? And people were like calling me. I was like, I have no idea. So, oh, um, that so that's, that's how I found out. But, um, I, I was not surprised in that, um, that time when you just let that much time, if you're just yeah. like, it's just. It, it made yeah. me think like okay, and it was on the ratings bubble as it was, so yeah. um, that I I was like okay, I could see it. And what I knew is that we there could be a way where if you take some things out in the edit, where you could you could put a period on the sentence. Oh, um, so, and so um, you won't feel like. Uh, you know, you're left high and dry. Yeah, it was like yeah. forced or something yes. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, you know, we, you know, we were going to ask you, you know, depending on how you answered that, you know, we yeah. didn't know whether or not you did or didn't. But it's like we were going to ask you what were the challenges of, of having to write an end of a show. But so you obviously didn't. But maybe you can speak to a little bit of, of, 
you know, let's jump back to it. What's what you know what maybe goes into like a cliffhanger because that you know that's something that's that's you know interesting. Like how how do you guys do that? Like you know you don't have to go all the way into it, but you know, yeah. it, how is it like to just like oh well, we need a really good cliffhanger? You know? <laughs> well, I've had experience doing this on you know a few different shows. Mm -hmm. Like when you're when you're kind of like in that uh, middle ground in ratings and you're not sure if you're going to come back, you always have to make sure you close some doors, yeah. but you also have to keep some doors open. And okay, so yeah. um, that's just the way that we've always approached it. And so we never want the fans to feel like, oh, cut to black and we didn't know what happened. You know what yeah. I mean? So you want to be able to at least infer what's going to happen next or, you know, you feel like you've tied up enough, enough loose ends where um, it's cool. And so like for, I can't get into what happens in season three, <laughs> but some epic amazing shit happens okay. in 3b that will blow your mind i'm not like i i am a fan of the show and okay. i am not exaggerating i was like what it's just like it's off the charts good yeah. and so um then we introduce things that i can't say without spoiling <laughs> that yeah. like didn't like be like really great launch pads for season four okay and so, like, all those things are, like, the groundwork is laid into the show to okay. explore those things later. Okay. That's how I'll yeah. it. Well, you know, I think, I think I'm just going to err on the side of it's coming back one way or another. We'll see more. Like, we're not done. Like, <laughs> you can't have something like this with all of you amazing creators and, and let it just be done, you know? So, um, so why don't we transition from that? Uh, for yeah. a little bit and we want to talk a little bit about you know your experience outside of the badlands so obviously like you said you've worked on other shows you've worked on turn you've worked on shameless one of my favorite yeah. um shows yeah. um and also you recently just did a project with uh moon himself sherman augustus yes. uh yes. can you t talk a little bit about that stuff yeah um yeah i love you know working in television so shameless was my first job and oh, that was an incredible wow. first job to have and john wells who was is the showrunner he was like my tv idol so to have him be my first boss was really great That's cool, yeah. um so i've worked on a ton of stuff you know i worked on that i worked on parenthood okay. like you said i worked on turn mm -hmm. for four years so we had like that experience of like being kind of in the middle and mm -hmm. um you know always leaving those doors open and we got to end that show on our own terms in season four and it was phenomenal yeah. And uh, in between, like in the last two seasons of Turn, I was always literally going back. I would spend six months working on Turn and being like in, you know, Alexander Hamilton lands and like totally like, you know, 1776 and then jump over to Badlands, which is this crazy dystopian future and everyone's killing everyone. And it was so much fun. Uh, and then, um, you know, I write movies and stuff. I write comic books. I've done a couple for um, Xenoscope. I'm doing a new one for Boom Studios as well. Oh, nice. That'll be published in 2020. Um, and then for the project with Sherman, yeah. I wrote and directed a short film. Um, and it was it's kind of like my di directorial debut. Cool. And uh, I sent him the script and he really loved it. And at first I was like, I don't know if I should ask him to do it, but <laughs> he, he kind of like volunteered. He was like, what you want? I will be in this. I will be in this. Uh, mm -hmm. And so that was great. And so it's it's a little, a uh, tiny little movie, like about nine minutes. It's a, a drama, and I can't. I won't spoil the plot. I'll just say it's it happens in like the green room of a political event, and he plays a major role, and he was phenomenal, mm -hmm. and it was great to have the Badlands team on this little movie. Yeah. Cause I, we, cause I, you know, we were seeing that all like on Instagram and stuff. Yeah. You guys posted, yeah. Like, what are they working on? Yeah. What is this? I want to see this. <laughs> what can we, yes, can we, was, it, can, we when can we, can we see it? Is it, is it available? Now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so it's, um, we're in post right now. So we're okay. finishing that up. So okay. it should be ready in like the next, like I'll say month or so. Where's so, it going to, yeah. where's it going to be? Is it going to be on, um, like YouTube Some or? So I'm gonna we're gonna do our festival push. So we're okay. gonna try to get into some festivals and stuff. Um, and then we'll see what the response is from that. And then um, okay. if all goes well, you'll be able to see it somewhere. Um, and then and then in short order, uh, you'll be able to see it. Like I'll probably put it on uh, like YouTube or Vimeo or something like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, awesome. we want to be kept in the loop on that because we definitely want to see you guys. Yeah, at absolutely. Work. Yeah, see you guys in action great. again. Yeah. I know. Wonderful. 
Um, all right, Latoya, I think I, I think that'll do it right now. I mean, we obviously we could sit here and and talk forever about all these things. Um, yes. Is there anything else that you uh, want to plug right now that you that you want people to to uh, check out or? Good question. Um, other than those few things that I just talked about, mm -hmm. um, you can check out my upcoming episode of The Walking Dead that I wrote for this season. I think it airs on March 3rd. So um, that's coming up. Uh, next, oh, next, this coming weekend coming up. Yeah, after, after yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. What they, yeah, yeah, we're on a Sunday now. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah. so it's it's yeah, yeah. Really awesome. Okay, I, and I didn't know you were doing that. That's so great. That's great. So uh, we'll make sure we great. mention that in our review uh, for that for that week. Uh, <laughs> but sorry, I don't want to stop talking to you. It's been so much fun know. talking so about great. this, and you know, it's amazing what's what Mike and I have been absolutely blessed to just have you guys come on the show, and and you guys have such a different take on where you know from your part in the show, but you also have the mm -hmm. same take. And that's the beauty of it, right, Mike? It's just like yeah. everyone, you, you're all on the same page without knowing some, it. But you're exactly. all, it's like, I, I don't know. We Listen, just I want a huge thank you for being on here. We, we absolutely appreciate thank it. Thank you, for, thank you yeah. for watching our stuff and knowing who we are. That's so great <laughs> yeah, that we get yeah, to be a part. Great. You know, you know, Mike, Mike, and I have been a very small part of of the sh of the whole Badlands thing, and then that's it's it's beautiful to us, and, and it's that's amazing. Right. And um, yeah, so again, well, thank you. You guys have been great, and I want you to know, uh, it was very inspiring. You know, sometimes I'm up at like really ridiculous hours of the night, like writing all my scripts, and yeah. sometimes uh, I would be like thinking about like how much you guys were going to enjoy what we what we do. Yeah. So, yeah. um, you're very inspirational. I can't believe how much work you guys have put into this it just means so much to me i know it means so much to all the writers on the yeah. show and you're not just a voice like in the void um <laughs> we hear you uh we thank you cool well, oh, thank that's you awesome. we, we, we that's definitely awesome. appreciate that yeah I mean, we definitely do appreciate that i know that the fans especially appreciate you guys communicating with them too on on the facebook sites and the group sites and stuff because yeah. i know daniel's is is on there constantly and sherman yeah. and you guys are uh, the most accessible yeah, that's, that's just and, terrific, and, and that's yeah. something huge for the people that love the show to just be able to talk and say, "Oh my God, I spoke with one of the writers of the show. I spoke with you know some yeah. of the, some of the actors of the show." Is just it's just um, a great a great yeah. um, feeling, and I think that's Absolutely. a big reason, a uh, big part of why the fans love the show and they're so loyal to the show. Yeah. It's that communication yeah. is just. It's unprecedented, you know? Well, just know that it doesn't end here. So I uh, hopefully everyone will stay, you know, follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, oh, yeah. keep yeah. up with the other things that I'm doing because you guys are the best. So I would love to have you along for the journey. Absolutely. We're definitely looking so, forward. So we'll have you on. Yeah. We'll have you on again for something else we do in the future that you'll be a part of. Yeah, we'll have have again yeah. And yeah we have plenty of more stuff going <laughs> on. We have plenty of more stuff. So that'll be awesome. All right. So Latoya, okay. finally, uh, where can people reach you then? Where, where can they get you on the socials? Sure. On Twitter and Instagram, I'm at Morganic Inc. Okay, that's very simple. One one shot. Yeah. There you go. You get everything. Yeah. That's right. Easy. That's right. That's right. You guys can check us out at thirdpersonpod.com. You can check us out on Third Person on Instagram and on Twitter and on iTunes. You can watch this, have a listen to this. Um, thank you, everybody who gave us these these wonderful community questions. We got so Good many. Question. We're sorry. Absolutely. We're sorry if we didn't get to all of them. We try to combine but, uh, them too so everyone gets right. a little voice right. in there. You know? so, so the trivia yeah. stuff, the, 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 the community questions, we just appreciate so much because we just get an abundance of these things. So thank you, fans. Um, Latoya, again, thank you so much for coming on. Of course. Thank you, guys. Okay, we'll see see you, you in those Twitter streets. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> thank you, guys. We'll see you on the next community question. See you. All right. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you want more into the Badlands content, please check out our playlist. And if you're like me and you love the 80s, why not check out the Retro Squat YouTube channel? Or you can click one of the videos right here.